welcome to FRM201 uh, Forest Nurseries and Plantation Development In this video lecture, I include the term Salviculture because this is related to Forest Nurseries and Plantation Development our, sub our subject So, what is Salviculture? So, Salviculture is the practice of controlling the establishment, growth, composition, health, and quality of forests to meet diverse needs and values. Ang unang definition po ay nagsasabi na ang silviculture ay ang kasay kasanayan sa pagkontrol sa pagtatayo o pagkontrol ng pagtatayo, um, paglago, paglaki o sibol at pagtubo, komposisyon, kalusugan at kalidad ng mga ng ating mga kagubatan upang matugunan ang iba't ibang mga pangailangan at kahalagan nito, uh, kahalagahan nito sa atin. So, the name comes from the Latin uh, selve which means forest and culture as in growing. And silviculture is the science and art of growing and tending forest crops based on a knowledge of silvics or the study of the life history and general characteristics of for, uh, forestries and stands with particular reference to locality factors. And uh, silviculture is the theory and practice of controlling the establishment, composition, constitution and growth of forests uh, please take note of the word selvix and as per definition uh, selvix is the study of the life history and general characteristics of forest trees so when we see uh, when we say forest trees we are referring to a tree of the forest and forest stand means a uniform group of trees of similar species, composition, size, and age, and, uh, and, and uh, also similar forest structure with particular reference to environmental influences. So you can now clearly distinguish the difference between a forest tree and forest stand. So, pag sinabi natin forest tree, sinasabi natin, ang na, ibig natin sabihin is ang kahoy or ang isang kahoy na makikita natin sa ating forest or kagubatan. But when we say forest stand, group po ito. Or a stand, uh, uniform sila na group of trees. Then, similar, same species din sila. Then, same composition, size, age. So, yun yung diferensya ng forest stands at forest, uh, forestry. Okay. Uh, nursery. So, in, my, in our previous video lecture, uh, na-discuss na natin kung ano yung uh, nursery doon. So, this is just an additional info about nursery. So, a forest nursery is an area upon which young uh, young or seedlings are grown for forest plantation. Nursery is used for growing new plants from seeds, cuttings, divided root stocks, and etc. Uh, nursery may supply plants for gardens, for agriculture, for forestry, and for conservation uh, biology. Okay, so a nursery is a place wherein you grow young plants. So, nurseries may contain greenhouses. Yes, it may contain greenhouses. The reverse is not true. A nursery, a nursery highly controlled uh, conditions, it has a uh, highly controlled condition to protect young plant plates and prevent exposure from harsh conditions. Example is the high humidity, warm temperatures, uh, low light intensities. And a greenhouse can be used as a nursery or as a protection from unsuitably cold, dry, or wet conditions for any plant. This is synony uh, synonymous to forest nursery. 
which is uh, a structure wherein you grow plants. So it has unregulated conditions to prevent the uh, fluctuations in external environments and also optimum conditions for growth and photosynthesis. Temperatures, uh, humidity, carbon dioxide content is being controlled in a greenhouse. So why do we have to control or regulate the temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide content in a forest nursery? As mentioned earlier, a forest nursery is an area upon which young or seedlings are grown for forest plantation. So uh, a forest nursery also is, is used for growing new plants from seeds, cuttings, divided rootstocks, and etc. So we have to control or regulate the temperature, humidity, higher carbon dioxide content in a forest nursery to protect young plantlets and prevent exposure from harsh conditions. So next slide. The importance of establishing a nursery. So, reforestation or plantation with uh, its own nursery, with its own nursery, has the following advantages. So, planting materials are available for use when desired. Danger of det uh, deterioration through transport is eliminated. Size and age of seedling. Uh, seedlings desired can be opted, uh, obtained with greater assurance and planting materials when grown on a large scale the cost is usually less so this is just some of uh, this is just some of the importance of establishing a nursery and also there is a greater assurance assurance that seedlings are true to name as origin of seeds is usually known and nursery grown seedlings are usually better adapted to climate, climatic and soil conditions of planting sites. And introduction of harmful insects and serious fungus diseases in the, in the nursery is eliminated. It can be better graded to fit particular requirements of, of each planting site. And lastly, conditions under which seedlings grow are known.